Welcome to a brief training on signing up to access the New York State Workers' Compensation Board's Medical Portal. The Medical Portal is a web-based application that will enable users to submit medical information and view other Workers' Compensation Board information electronically. Through the Medical Portal, users will be able to apply to become board-authorized providers, renew their board authorization, and access the drug formulary, medical treatment guidelines, and other resources. It's important to also note that users will eventually be able to request and approve prior authorization for non-formulary drugs, access a medical treatment guidelines lookup tool and the variance process, and submit and or review variance and C4 auth requests. The medical portal will be available to multiple parties, including medical providers, payers, which include insurance carriers and third-party administrators, or TPAs, self-insured employers, and pharmacy benefit managers, or PBMs. Functions available within the portal will be specific to an individual's role. So what are some benefits of the medical portal? The medical portal is intended to create efficient processes by moving from paper-based to electronic submission, provide electronic submission and tracking of authorization requests, such as medical treatment and formulary prior authorizations, and enable users to track the status of their requests. An NY.gov ID is required for accessing the medical portal. This is separate and apart from an NY.gov ID that users may have for another New York State agency, for example, Department of Motor Vehicles, Civil Service, etc. So how would a new provider obtain an NY.gov ID? An NY.gov ID and temporary password will be generated for new providers as part of the process for signing up for the medical portal. Providers will be prompted to provide their DOH Health Commerce System, or HCS, user ID if they are registered with the Department of Health. If a new provider has a Health Commerce System ID and provides it, the board will assign an NY.gov ID consistent with their username. A temporary password will also be assigned. It is recommended the permanent password set is consistent with the provider's HCS password. If a new provider does not have or provide an HCS ID, a match cannot be made to the HCS ID, or the ID is not available in NY.gov, the board will assign a user ID. Let's look at the process for new providers to sign up for and access the medical portal. Step 1. Click the link to sign up for the medical portal. This link will be available on the board's website. Step 2. Identify provider type. This will be via a drop-down selection. Note that nurse practitioners must sign up as registered nurses. Step 3. Provide basic information such as name, license, and NPI number, as well as the HCS ID if one exists. Step 4. Submit the request for access to the medical portal to the New York State Workers' Compensation Board. Step 5. Once received, the board will process the request and will provide the user with NY.gov ID user credentials. Step 6. Providers will use the NY.gov ID user credentials to access the medical portal. Note that once credentials are received, a user is assigned a temporary password to log in the first time. Upon logging in the first time, the user will be prompted to set a permanent password. They'll also be prompted by NY.gov to set up shared secrets that can be used later to reset their password if they forget it. Now let's discuss how other medical providers can obtain an NY.gov ID to access the medical portal. If a provider is already registered with the board through the Health Commerce system, no action is required. The board will use existing information to create the NY.gov ID user credentials. The user will receive a notification from the board with these credentials. The user will be assigned a temporary password to log in the first time, and upon logging in the first time, the user will be prompted to set a permanent password. If a medical provider already has an NY.gov ID because they submit forms to the board electronically, no action is required. The board will grant the provider access to the medical portal using the provider's existing NY.gov ID user credentials. Thank you for viewing this training on signing up to access the Workers' Compensation Board's medical portal and obtaining an NY.gov ID. For more information, please visit wcb.ny.gov. You can also subscribe to receive Workers' Compensation Board updates 
at wcb.ny.gov forward slash notify.